What's up, it's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness and in this video I want to talk about how to set up a basic beginner home workout. For those of you who are just starting out weightlifting or working out doing strength training and you want to work out at home, you don't want to spend a lot of money on equipment, uh, this is what I call the uh, three B's workout. You're going to be using a band, a ball, and body weight. So let's get right into it and I'll show you the exercises. We'll talk about how to put in a program and how you can progress this. Now before we get into the actual workout, it's very important to get in a good warm up, some movement preparation before you start training. So I recently produced a video on the most effective ways to warm up to improve performance and prevent injury. Uh, I'll put that uh, link here on the screen as well as down in the description below. Make sure you go check that out and incorporate those dynamic warm up exercises and core activation movements before you get into the actual beginner workout. Okay, first of all, let's look at a couple of lower body exercises. Uh, the one that I'd recommend starting off with is a lunge and you can do reverse lunges, step back into a lunge position alternating left right or you can step forward into a lunge forward lunges and of course if you have resistance dumbbells to use for resistance you can hold the dumbbells just like you're holding two suitcases at your side and add resistance in the form of free weights you want to have the front leg come down to a 90 degree angle with your knee lined up right over the foot. Don't let that knee shift back and forth and drive through the lead leg. Make sure the most of the weight, the majority of the weight is on your front leg. The next lower body exercise is a lying ball hamstring curl. So we did a push movement with the lunges and we wanna pair that up with a pulling movement for the back of the legs, the hamstrings and the butt. Feet are centered on the top of the ball, just over the top of the ball. You want to elevate your hips, get your balance, arms out to the side, make sure you maintain balance at this point before you curl in. Press down with the heels and pull the ball in while you elevate the hip. Really focus on squeezing the hamstrings, keeping your core tight, engaging the glutes. Control on the way out, pull in. Control out, pull in. If you find that too challenging, you can keep the hips lower. And if you need to, you can rest between reps until you build up strength. People are sitting a lot, they might find this a little challenging initially because they're not used to using the muscles along the uh, posterior chain, around the back of their body. But you should really feel this down the hamstrings, back of the legs, maybe a little bit in your calves and glutes as well. Okay, great lower body exercise to pair up with a lunge. And I recommend using these as a, a superset so you go back and forth between your lunge movement and your hamstring movement with minimal rest between them. And we'll get into the sets and reps in a sec. Okay, now let's look at the first upper body exercise using the resistance bands. Now, of course, you can get different tensions of bands or you can get multiple bands and double up the resistance if you wanted to. Um, but we're gonna be doing a, focusing on a pulling movement and I'd recommend that you incorporate some sort of pulling movement in whatever workout you do. Make sure you're addressing that posterior chain. Take care of that posture. Emphasize the back of your body more than the front. So using resistance bands is a simple way to get some resistance to engage that uh, posterior chain. Once again, retract the shoulder blades and open up the chest, improve posture, address the larger muscles in your back. So we're gonna start off with a standing row. This can be done seated or standing, but you wanna initiate the movement by retracting the shoulder blades, pulling them down and back, retract, depress, and then following with the elbows. So we're not just bending the elbows and pulling the resistance band in towards us. Open up the chest, retract the shoulder blades, and elbows drive back. Emphasize the retraction of the back over the flexion of the elbows. And really consider your forearms just a continuation of the resistance bands. So you're not pulling up with your arm biceps like this, you're driving straight back with the elbows. So the emphasis is on elbows pressing back versus hands pulling in. Chest is open, shoulder blades retract, squeeze and hold the shortened position before you release. Focus on the back, you're gonna feel your arms regardless, but really focus on pulling into the back. The band could be hooked around any sort of anchor that you have access to, a railing, a banister, um, or you can simply pick up a door strap and put that into the hinge of a door. I'll show you how that works. So for example, I'm using a little door strap I have here, which is usually just a nylon loop 
with a thicker part at the other end, and that could be a little foam blocker or a little rubber stopper. Something that you can put on the other side of a door. Now, I'm gonna be putting it on the open side of the door. It can also be put into the hinge side if you can fit it in there. Just so you can see what's happening here. This leaves a little loop open up on the outside, which you can use to put the band through as so. Now you want to make sure that it's equal tension when it's loose and then you can bring that back and perform your pulling movement anchored into the door. And now moving on to the second upper body exercise which is going to be a push-up variation or a push-up progression. A pressing movement to pair up with the pulling the, the tubing row that we did last. We always want to work antagonist or opposite muscle groups so that we're keeping the body in balance. And this will be again, again done as a superset with your row and your push-up together. For beginners, I'd recommend starting with a kneeling push-up. So knees on the ground. You want to have your hands lower than your shoulders, so you're pushing them in the chest. Really lock your butt and your stomach muscles in, so you're not bending at the waist, but you're moving your whole body down to the floor. And make sure again, you're pushing from chest, not up from your neck and shoulders, up here. Bring the arms down to the side of the body, knees bent, abs tight, exhale, control down. Body moves as one piece, progressing up to full push-ups from the feet, down with control, press from the chest, don't bend at the waist, keep your abs tight, butt engaged, control the negative, press through. This can be made more challenging by elevating your feet, so you can put them up on the ball or up on the staircase, a step, a chair, a bench, and come down slow, press up, control, and press. Okay, so we've looked at exercises for the upper and lower body. We've uh, paired them up in antagonist or pushing and pulling movements, and I recommend you do those as supersets. Now let's look at some uh, exercises for the core. Uh, a great one that you can do with the ball is a plank rollout. This is a progression from the basic plank on the ground, which you should have uh, done in your warm up. You're going to get your elbows low on the ball, plank yourself out from the feet, lift up. You're sort of resting your chest on the ball to start. Anchor your stomach muscles, tuck in your abs, squeeze your butt, and then reach your arms out to make a 90 degree angle. So plank them out to square. If you feel really strong and stable, you can come a little past that. But it becomes increasingly more challenging the longer that lever is. Then come back in, that's one rep. Tight. Two. Three. And so on. Quite challenging exercise. If you're not there yet, just work from progressions from your plank on the ground or work with this with your knees on the floor and build up to it. The next exercise is with your feet on the ball. And this one I call a jackknife or a ball knee tuck. Hands on the ground, push up position. Feet up on the ball, get your balance first. Make sure you have control. And then slowly bring the knees in without letting the butt drop. So knees come in, tight stomach, extend back out. Try not to let the hips drop like this. Keep it up and out. The closer it is to your knees, the easier it is. And the further out to your feet, the more challenging it will become because you're creating a longer lever. Tuck in, control out. Abs tight, control. So you pair those two exercises up again for the core as a superset to finish off this basic beginner home workout that you can do with simply your body weight, bands, and a ball. Now as far as the sets and repetitions are concerned, this depends on your level of ability. I'd recommend you start off with a little bit lower volume and less resistance and gradually progress that over a period of weeks. For example, you're going to start with two supersets of each exercise, moving back and forward with a moderate to low end of repetitions, such as 8 to 10. And then as you progress and become stronger, you're going to add a, a third superset or circuit of each exercise, and then gradually maybe progress to four or five times back and forth and increase the rep range on the exercises that are body weight oriented, uh, perhaps going up to 10 to 15 repetitions, for example, with your push-ups, and progressing the difficulty, adding in uh, more tension with the resistance bands, getting a heavier band or, or doubling up on the bands, uh, getting your hips higher up on the ball, holding that top contracted position on the push-ups, perhaps elevating your, your feet, slowing down the tempo, um, and progressing the, the difficulty of the lunge exercises by slowing down or perhaps moving into holding some resistance with those exercises. So as you can see, there's plenty of ways you can progress these movements as you get stronger. The main thing is that you're introducing some element of progression into the program. Uh, I'm going to put some notes here on the screen as far as uh, how you can organize that into a workout. 
uh, what it might look like for a beginner starting off a program like that. I hope this gives you some ideas if you're just starting out, just some basics you can get involved with without needing a lot of equipment, just using your body weight and some bands and basic accessories in your home gym. If you got any questions or comments, just post them down below. And until next time, stay strong.